It is July 8th, Monday, uh, Saskatoon. This is the electric motor module update. Uh, we are looking at this brace here and uh, the brace down here. Um, those are the new additions for the day. Um, the brace on top hasn't been tied in yet. Not really sure what to do with that. So uh, we'll get a close up of uh, above and to the side of, of both of these. Give you a bit of an, an idea of what happened. Okay, here you can see two pieces of inch and a quarter, a piece of four inch in between, and two more pieces of inch and a quarter. Um, pretty much bolts everywhere, and uh, probably not very cheap to, to put, but or to build. But it's uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to stand up. Okay, this is as close as I can get to a back view. Uh, you can see the two pieces of inch and a quarter with the bolts and the four inch in between. And uh, from the side here, this is the inch and a quarter, it's being hidden. This is the four inch. Here's the bracket that I'm bolted into. And then there's the piece of uh, inch and a quarter. I've got two of them with the bolt going in between to the other side. All right, that's a little bit better. Um, here we have uh, the base of the motor. So we have the bracket that was shown in the last video. We've got two spacers which just happen to be inch and a quarter um, aluminum tube. Then we have two pieces of angle iron that go all the way across to the other side. We'll get you a top view. Not exactly a top shot. Get this out of the way. But you got your mortar band. You got your angle iron going across with the spacers. Bolts go down. Uh, you see that the uh, axle is going straight out. And uh, here's a little black mark approximately the center. So that's uh, about a wrap for tonight.